Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to import your AVCHD video from your camera. And the camera I use is a Sony A5000, which is a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. Pretty good camera there. Though I would actually recommend getting the A5100. A little bit more pricey, but better quality image. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> we'll do that in another video. Okay, so what you're going to do is... I have my memory card plugged into my Mac Mini, so plug it into your MacBook or your iMac or your whatever, your Mac Mini or your Mac Pro for that matter. Then we're going to go ahead and open up iMovie. Okay, and this AVC format is kind of a weird format, so it's, it's kind of hard to find the file on the actual memory card, so the best thing to do is actually just import it straight from iMovie or Final Cut Pro or even from... QuickTime, you can do that. And I'll do that in another tutorial a little bit later. So go ahead and hit the import button here. And you'll notice that you have your, you know, your usual stuff here, the hard drive. But then there's a no-name camera. And this is actually, my camera is not plugged in. My memory card is plugged in. And that's kind of the difference when you're using this AVC HD format that you have. Okay, so let me find a good piece of footage here. Something not too long. Uh, I guess this one's here, the 16 second clip here. Wait, wait, let me see. Where's a better one? Ah, uh, let's use this one here. It's one in 1.7 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and import that. Let me, let me lower the sound so it's not irritating. So you just click on the clip here and you actually import selected. You can actually import more than one by holding the shift and clicking another one. So uh, we'll go ahead and import two just for the fun of it. And now, your actual media is being imported. You can actually see by the the pie chart kind of filling up. Now, depending on the size of the video and the speed of your computer, now your import is actually finished. So let me go ahead and I'll just drop these things down into timeline so you can have a look. Let me grab the small one, drop it down here. Let me reduce the sound. And this was actually Actually, this thing is still processing. So one thing you'll notice, and um, it, they really don't tell you what's going on in iMovie when, when this is happening, is when you have a really big format, this is a uh, 60 frames per second, you know, the maximum that's coming out of my camera here, HD video. So in the timeline, it's, it's not playing very well. It's kind of jerky and things like that. But what happen, what's happening in the background is, is iMovie is actually doing some some work is <laughs> working pretty hard to get it to the point where you can actually edit it pretty easily and actually see what's going on. So what I usually do is I just wait, depending on the speed of your computer, it'll do it. So now it's actually caught up. So it's full speed now. So let's go check this one here. This one's kind of slow and jerky. So don't panic. If you have a fast computer, this happens really fast. If you have a slower computer, it takes a little bit of time, not too long, less than a minute minute or so. So when you import these, these really big file formats in high quality, 60 frames per second, it's got to do some kind of conversion to make it so you can actually edit it on the fly. So that's what's actually happening. And this video is still processing. It's still kind of jerky and slow. But this one over here is, is actually full speed. You can see kind of not so interesting video, but this is where the floods were in Austin. I just drove down here to kind of check it out to see what's going on, but this is a couple of days after. And actually, this one is not completely finished processing. So the first part is it's full. So let's check this other one here. Oh, not finished yet. But anyways, so that's how you do it. Of course, the larger your file, the more time it takes, the faster your computer, the less time it takes, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how you do it. Pretty straightforward, but if no one told you, it's kind of a pain. So your camera might come with some software that does this conversion and importing for you, but I find that I just use either iMovie or Final Cut Pro or QuickTime. And I'll do those other tutorials very shortly, so stay tuned if you're interested in seeing how to import AVC HD video format using QuickTime or using Final Cut Pro 10 or X. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to mash, tickle, smash that, that thumbs up button there. Subscribe. Put your questions in the comments. And of course, 
if you have any friends that are out there or family that are getting ready to buy a Mac and they're kind of interested in doing iMovie video editing or, or Final Cut Pro editing, don't forget to tell them about my channel and, and tell them to subscribe. I'm trying to get that count to 5,000 before the end of the year. Peace. And of course, I'm throwing a whole bunch of aloha. We need a lot more aloha in the world.